hey good day guys welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer and in this video i'll be showing to you eight basic steps that are required in the design of any structural element all right so if you have been making attempts previously to design or to learn structural design and you have been finding it difficult this is this video and it's for you eight basic steps to master structural design number one is understanding the drawing or or plan provided an understanding of this would help you know what next to do and what is required to solve all right so for example if you're giving a plan of this um, orientation maybe a, a rectangular plan or something you know and you're being told that this is a slab okay so knowing that this is going to be a one-way slab would tell to you okay what's the approach what's the formula in um analyzing um or obtaining your maximum moment on this particular slab and then if, for example maybe a beam um element you want to know what exactly is going to support this beam or what is the beam exactly supporting so understanding the drawing would give you an idea of what next to do okay so the next one is to also know the type of structure you ask yourself what structure am i dealing with what structure what's the type of structure what's the type of structure and when we are talking about structure it could be um a concrete structure it could be a steel structure it could be a timber structure or a wood structure so you have to know which exactly are you dealing with then the third one is you have to create or um, determine the preliminary sizing determine the preliminary sizing sizing or sizes okay so this is based on based on engineering judgment okay it is based on your engineering judgment or experience but you have you just have to start some somehow as a matter of use and experience you would be able to know on what sizes are suitable for what kind of structure and what kind of purpose and what kind of load you see that now so and the, for example for a beam for a beam this is going to be our d and this is going to be our b so this will be for example 450 by 225 mm beam okay so if you are dealing with a column for example it could be a, a square a square column or something maybe a 225 by 225 column however it is you just have to start with a preliminary sizes okay so the next one that you would need to do is to apply your load apply the load okay and you know before now that we have different kinds of load okay we have the dead load the dead load we have the life load okay we have um, different kind of load depending on what you're working on wind load okay we may have the snow load and all of that okay so once you apply this load um you determine what the dead load is which are um, loads of the so structure itself and permanent um thing um permanent um element the life load which is also known as impost load of movable 
um, items or structures within the building itself and the wind load as subject to wind um, as a function of the wind and then the snow as a function of the snow all right so from this we can generate what we call the loading combination loading combination and of course we know some loading combinations that um, are common um, already 1.4 gk 1. Point plus 1.6 qk okay we know this already uh, some may work with this 1.2 then maybe 1.0 for wind or 1.2 for wind whichever it is you have agreed to to stay with all right so the next one that you would do after you have determined the loading is to may have a structural analysis structural analysis analyze your element analyze your structure and in your analysis you are supposed to um, obtain share the moment the maximum moment okay the torsion and all okay so the next one after you might have uh, obtained your you have done your structural analysis and you obtain those that the, those things that you need to okay is to also check for the design structural design so this is the structural structural design so the structural design you are supposed to obtain the area of steel area of steel required okay then you provide against that and also you're supposed to um provide like i said provide against this okay so for example if you have obtained maybe um 402 or 401 mm square you know you can if it's a beam element you know that you are supposed to produce um provide sorry about 3y16 and then that will be sufficient that will be about 603 uh, millimeter square so that's good enough for you to go okay so um the next thing to do is to check for deflections check for deflections so after you might have um, done your structural design is to just carry out some um, necessary checks that um, that is required okay so let me just put it mark somewhere here so that you can have it all together so, okay so the next one like i said is to check for um check for allowable limits okay so sorry about that check for allowable limit and that's what i call the deflection so you discover that the deflection obtained during the analysis okay should not be um overly more than this that is recommended with your standard code of practice or whatever it is you're using so this ought to be less than that now lastly what you're supposed to look out for is the detailing of the structure detailing of the element okay so i have several videos on detailing of different kinds of elements so if you care to check please go through the channels uh, my channel and then um, you discover that you have a lot of material to work yourself through to mastery all right if you have any questions comment query as touching any of these things do well to use the comment section as i'll be there to answer to your query till we see the next time do not forget to subscribe share and like with your um share to, with your friends and like the video till we meet in the next bye